Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of Z Code System here on YouTube. And today we're going to talk about the Premier League games coming up this weekend, match day 36 in the Premier League. We're almost done with this year's Premier League season and we just have three match days to go. And we're going to talk about the upcoming match day, match day 36, uh, today on our YouTube video. So thanks for tuning back in here. And we always love having you here, watching our videos, commenting, and if you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up and like, and also subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on everything we post here on Z Code System, uh, whether it be Premier League football or maybe the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, whatever sport you follow, we can we post videos every week for picks here. So guys, thanks again for coming. And of course, you can see right in front of you the Z Code System website. You can go over there and you can get the latest picks that we post on our blogs or in our blogs, uh, picks that we don't necessarily uh, make videos for we have up there. And you can see all the information about the profitable systems that are only at Z Code System. And of course, you can go over to the VIP and you can use all the tools to get the latest picks on whatever sport it is that you follow, uh, courtesy of Z Code System. So, guys, like I said, we are following the or talking about the Premier League season, Premier League weekend. So, May 15th and 16th, which is coming up, and it's going to be match day 36. So, we're excited for that. And uh, the season is nearing its end. So, let's take a look at our Sucker Buddy tool. And we're going to give you some picks for the games that are coming up on Sunday that, uh, that you're not going to want to miss here. Okay, guys, so as always, I'm using the Soccer Buddy tool because I love this tool. It's a great way to get your picks for the Premier League games or whatever football league you follow. You'll be able to get those picks. And if I just click on here, you can see uh, the just a, a little sample of some of the leagues that you can get picks for courtesy of the Soccer Buddy tool. Just change the date for whichever week you want or whichever week uh, match day you want, and you'll be able to get those. And of course, one of the things that I always love to do is uh, look at the hot trends. Uh, we don't always have hot trends for games, but we do have uh, a hot trend for this weekend for Sunday. And that is a hot trend as I scroll down there between Sheffield United and Everton. And we can see that we are five to six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Everton in their last six games. So that is something to get on to if you want to bet the over under. Now we have four games coming up on May the 16th, which is Sunday. And we're going to talk through these games. Uh, there are games going to be taking place on Saturday as well. You can go over to Z Code system and use the VIP and the soccer buddy tool to get the picks for those games or for whatever league that you want to get picks for this weekend. Now, just a note, the weekend is also going to feature on Saturday, the FA Cup final between Chelsea and Leicester City. That's a big game, and that pick is also up on Soccer Buddy, so you can find that there today and uh, get your picks in with your favorite sports book. But as you can see, we've got the four games here for Sunday. And we're going to talk through these coming up, uh, these games coming up. Now, there's a lot to play for still in the Premier League season. Manchester City have already won the title. That's already done and dusted. That happened this week when Manchester United lost to Leicester City 2-1. Now, City have lifted the trophy. We're not going to be talking about City uh, in these four picks, but they've already won the trophy, as I say. But there are still three places left for Champions League qualification that teams are fighting for. Now, one of those places is pretty much already nailed on to be Manchester United's. Uh, they're, they're going to finish runners-up this season in the Premier League, it looks like. But third and fourth place are still wide open uh, with Leicester City and Chelsea trying to nail down those places. But we have West Ham, Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur chasing those teams. And with three games left to play, we could see one of those two teams or one of those three teams that is uh, usurp uh, Leicester City or Chelsea. Again, both those teams playing in the FA Cup final this weekend. And Chelsea are also going to be playing in the Champions League final coming up. Uh, I believe it is the end of the month, uh, not yeah, the end of the month uh, against Chelsea, uh, excuse me, against Manchester City uh, in that in that Champions League final. Now, let's take a look at these games here. Let's look at the first one, Aston Villa. They are going to be visiting Crystal Palace on Sunday, and this is a game between um, an Aston Villa team who are 11th in the league and a th the 13th place Crystal Palace. Uh, Crystal Palace are ebbing towards the off season where there's going to be loads of changes coming up and you know it's really hard to tell what this team is going to look like next season 
Uh, manager Roy Hodgson is likely to depart the club. Um, they're looking to go into a different direction. Uh, possibly former Chelsea manager Frank Lampard could take over there. And they've got a lot of players. Um, I heard the list the other day. Maybe something like 10 to 12 players who are out of contract uh, uh, this summer, and some players who are uh, their you know what you would say are their their big players or their their um, you know usual starting players are, are going to be out of contract. So uh, a lot of question marks around Crystal Palace going into the off season. This is a team who, because of uh, players possibly leaving on uh, free transfers as well as losing a manager or, or changing managers, uh, this is a team that could be actually fighting relegation next season. Now they're playing Aston Villa, who are, like I said, 11th right now. Um, Aston Villa still has a chance to uh, make up some ground on the teams ahead of them and uh, finish in the top seven, possibly make the Europa Conference League for next season. Um, But they've actually played very poorly over the last, um, I would say, quarter of the season. Um, They are likely to be still without Jack uh, Jack Grealish, who has been injured for maybe the last 12 games um, that Aston Villa have played. And without him, he's their most creative player. He is uh, one of their top scorers. Uh, Without him, they are struggling. Uh, Aston Villa are also going to be out uh, without their top scorer, Ollie Watkins. He's got a a suspension to serve. So this is a game that Crystal Palace could definitely get points while playing at home. And you know what? That 1-1 scoreline looks pretty good uh, between these two teams. And I do fancy both of them to find the back of the net, both teams to score in this game. Uh, Moving on to our game here that's going to be played in London between Tottenham and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, Wolves have nothing to play for. They are safe from relegation. Uh, They are a mid-table team. They're not going to be able to qualify for Europe. Uh, And to be honest, they're just really ready for the season to end. They've had a lot of injuries this year, and they really need to uh, re- rehash this team, rebuild this team a bit and uh, get some players fit and healthy uh, for next season. Now Spurs, uh, they they host Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, who are a bogey team for Spurs. Uh, Wolves have gone to London the last two times these teams have played and won. And this is a game that throws up a big challenge for Spurs. Um, although I think Spurs will win this game, I, I could see Wolves um, getting something out of this. Uh, these teams have played five times since 2018 when Wolverhampton Wanderers were promoted to the Premier League. And in all five of those games, the away team has gotten a result. Uh, four times the away team has won. And earlier this season, we saw these two teams draw 1-1. Um, again, like I said, I think Wolves could take a point from this game, but I do like Spurs to win this game. Um, they are a better team. They have uh, better players, more talented players. And I think that they can get this win and potentially uh, push <clears throat> excuse me, push a little bit higher in the table and challenge for um, a, ch- uh, a Champions League place. They are currently uh, four points, no, excuse me, two points back of West Ham uh, in fifth place. And they are uh, six points, that's eight points, I guess, uh, back from Chelsea in the race for Champions League qualification. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see Spurs get a win here and to push a little bit closer to those teams they're fighting at the top of the table. Now, big game for Liverpool right now. Liverpool uh, are going to be going to West Brom to play a a team that's already been relegated. So uh, ideally, you would think that these are three points nailed on for Liverpool. Unfortunately, West Brom went to Anfield earlier this season and picked up a big 1-1 draw. And that draw really hurt Liverpool's uh, title hopes back in December, January. And then that's when we saw Liverpool really sink down the table um, going into the new year. And they are now recovered, but still outside the Champions League places. Liverpool are sixth, and they are uh, they are uh, not too far back from Chelsea at the moment. Uh, they are seven points back uh, of Chelsea going into the weekend. And they can really make up ground. Now, significantly for Liverpool is they have a game in hand over those teams who are above them. They will play Manchester United on Thursday night. And I talk to you right now on Thursday. Uh, they will be playing Manchester United in a match that was postponed from a couple of weeks ago due to some protests that happened at Manchester United's Old Trafford Stadium. So Liverpool could technically pick up three points this week um, and move closer in the table, uh, move into fifth place with a win over Manchester United if they win tonight. And uh, a win over West Brom could take them even closer to Chelsea and that place, that fourth place position. 
Um, you know, there's there's only two games left in the season now for Chelsea. Uh, six points uh, up for grabs. They're coming off of a loss as well uh, in midweek to Arsenal uh, last night, one nil. So there's nothing uh, for sure, nothing for granted for any of these teams right now um, from third place down to seventh place. So we could see, um, you know, a big mix up right now in those teams fighting for Champions League and European or excuse me, Europa League uh, qualification for next season. But back to this game, I like Liverpool to win this. Uh, I think this could be a 1-0 or a 2-0 win for Liverpool. Uh, West Brom, like I said, they're relegated. They've got nothing to play for. Liverpool have a lot to play for, uh, but they're just not scoring a lot of goals. Uh, and injuries continue to play a huge part in Liverpool's season. So I think this is going to be a low-scoring game uh, with Liverpool potentially winning uh, to nil against West Brom. Now, to look at our last game there on Sunday, we've got Everton, who are in form, uh, taking on Sheffield United. Everton in ninth place right now, and they've been playing decently. Uh, the problem with Everton, really, is that uh, once they you know they string a win or two together, they just can't keep that momentum going. And that has been very disappointing for the team this season. Again, Sheffield United are relegated. They are down. They are the worst team in the Premier League. They have taken, let's see, uh, 17 points in total this season from 35 games, and they are minus 44 in goal difference. I love Everton to win this game simply because Sheffield and I have been so bad. Now, let's take that with a little bit of a, a grain of salt. Um, Sheffield United um, do have the potential to take points off of teams. They are on a two-game losing streak, however. They lost to Tottenham Hotspur and to Crystal Palace in consecutive games, and they lost by a combined 6-0 scoreline. So I do like Everton to win this game. Can they keep a clean sheet? Perhaps they can. Um, this is a team, an Everton team, who has shown glimpses of being uh, a top five team this season. But again, consistency has eluded them, uh, but might be able to pick up that consistency next year with a couple of more um, high quality players. But guys, those are my picks today for the Premier League season or the Premier League weekend that is uh, coming up on May the 16th. That is Sunday. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those picks and you're wanting to back these games or some of these teams uh, that I've just shown you. And of course, you can go over to the Soccer Buddy tool and you can use this to get picks for the whole weekend in the Premier League for the FA Cup or for any of the other soccer leagues that you follow around the world. So guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and like the channel. And also like the video uh, while you're at it. And let us know down below which uh, teams you're betting on. Let us know um, what you think of the Premier League season, what has happened, and which teams you think will make Europe uh, in the comments below. So guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time here on Z Code System.